Hey guys! So in today's video I'm going to be talking about my top 5 ways to update your makeup bag for autumn or fall 2012. Now there have been loads of makeup trends this season and a lot of makeup trends I find are actually repeated from year to year. I mean your typical kind of fall looks and things like that. But there have been absolutely tons this season that I absolutely love. So I thought I would share with you a couple of products and kind of makeup looks I guess that have been really popular this season and I am going to show you products for each type of trend and tell you where you can get them from. All the products I talk about in this video are going to be under the £10 mark, so it's going to be a really kind of budget way to update your makeup bag for fall or autumn 2012. So the first trend that I've noticed that has been really, really popular this season is khaki eyeshadow. Now, my favourite one that I've found on the high street or in drugstores is the L'Oreal Colour Infallible um, Permanent Khaki. And this is kind of a strange texture of eyeshadow. I've talked about these before. They're almost halfway in between um, a loose powder eyeshadow and a pressed powder. They kind of have this little plunger on the top that kind of presses the loose powder down. But they're really, really beautifully pigmented. And this is a gorgeous kind of metallic khaki that is really pretty, really easy to use, blends nicely. Um, and it's also not overly green either, it's kind of an easy to wear colour, that's the thing with khaki, I think sometimes you think, oh it's going to be a little bit scary kind of thing, but it's actually quite easy to wear, especially if you have um, green or hazel or dark brown eyes, it looks really pretty. Um, another one that I love that is a little bit more of a kind of steely grey tone of khaki is the Bourjois number 11 eyeshadow, which is a lot more of a kind of... Um, grey toned khaki, it's just ever so slightly khaki and a really pretty one as well um, if you're a little bit more scared of green. So I love both of those. Moving on to the next trend and it links quite closely into the khaki eyeshadow trend, it is metallic eyes. Now the product that I love the most again is another L'Oreal Colour Infallible um, eyeshadow and this is in Sahara Treasure which is a gorgeous kind of almost antique gold colour. The reason why I like these eyeshadows so much for the kind of metallic and coloured kind of look is that they are just really really easy to use like I said and they're also very nicely pigmented. You can use them wet or dry if you want. If you want to create that real kind of foil um, metal look you can use them wet. Um, this is really pretty and I find a great way to use this shade is to maybe just pop a little bit in the inner corners. You can actually combine it um, with the khaki shade if you want to, to kind of make it a little bit more um, wearable if you are scared of colour. Yeah. This is just a really easy kind of way to incorporate autumn and winter trends into um, your makeup bag because it's not hard to wear kind of gold eyeshadow or add a little bit of gold to your eyeshadow. So I really, really love that one. The third trend that I've been absolutely loving this season is the kind of rosy cheeks look. Um, so it kind of almost looks like you've been outside in the cold for a long time and when you come inside you kind of have this really natural gorgeous flush. Um, and there are a lot of kind of cheek stain, cream blush type of products that will help you achieve this look. My favourite one um, on the high street has got to be Soap and Glory's Cheek Mate which is a lip and cheek stain but it's kind of like a gel formula so unlike um, Benefit's Benetint which is really watery and can sometimes be a little bit difficult to work with this is a lot easier because it is more of a gel texture and it's kind of easier to apply. Cream blushes are also amazing. I actually love the Topshop cream blushes um, if you are looking for a kind of shade that makes you look really kind of naturally flush. Um, they have a lot of kind of the neon pink kind of shades which do look scary in the pan but they can look amazing if you use them on your cheeks, they just add that really kind of natural rosy glow, so I love those. So the fourth trend that I love is one that tends to come back year after year for autumn. Um, it's not particularly like a new trend, like I said, but I always seem to kind of want to wear it as soon as the weather changes, is the kind of wine, burgundy coloured lips, that really, really dark, deep, almost slightly gothic um, red lip. and. You can go really wrong when you're buying this kind of shade on the high street because a lot of the shades are a little bit too purple, so almost on the kind of like bad side of gothic. But if you get the right kind of tone, that kind of really deep burgundy kind of red, um, it can look really, really beautiful. And the kind of classic, most well-known shade like this that is on the high street is Revlon's Black Cherry. Now this can look a little bit scary. It is kind of almost like a really browny plum kind of red colour but you can use it really lightly as a lip stain, you can apply it full on if you want to, if you're a little bit scared though you can go um, a little bit lighter and just get that kind of bitten kind of berry 
colour, if that even makes sense. But yeah, I love that one. And then the other one, if you are a little bit scared of going quite that dark, um, is Topshop's lipstick in Beguiled. Now this is a lot more of a pink tone. It still looks quite dark in the bullet and almost slightly scary, but on the lips it is much more of a kind of um, pinky, kind of berry tone. Um, so it's a little bit easier to wear than the other but one. But I absolutely adore that kind of colour for autumn. I think it's a real kind of autumn staple. Um, if you're not too scared of dark lipsticks, I think it looks really beautiful. And then and the final trend that I've been loving is a nail trend and if you watched my monthly favourites video this month then you will have seen both of these nail polishes. Um, I absolutely love that same kind of wine, berry, kind of dark, purpley, red colour on the nails as well as on the lips. So these are my kind of most worn polishes um, of, of this time of year. I just think they're really gorgeous. The first shade that I love is Essie's Bahama Mama which is very very similar to the Topshop Beguiled lipstick if you want to kind of match your lips and your nails. Not always a look that people like to go for but you can do it. A lot more of a pink shade um, and the formulation of this is fantastic. It has the really wide brush, easy to apply and yeah great formulation. And then the other one, which is a lot more of the kind of purple, plum, deep kind of gothy shade is Rimmel's Pro um, in 410 Transporting. Love this colour. Again, the formulation is great and it's a lot cheaper than the Essie. I think this is about 4 99 and the Essie is 7 99 So whichever one um, you want to go for for your budget, either one is amazing for that kind of wine, berry toned nail trend. So that is it for my how to update your makeup bag for autumn or fall 2012. I hope you guys like this video. It's kind of um, a new type of video for me. I've never really done anything like this before, but I thought you you guys might like it because like I said there are so many trends going around for autumn this year and I just thought it'd be nice to kind of talk about my favorite ones and how to buy products to kind of achieve those different looks so yeah make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video bye guys